Hello Taurus, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Taurus, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Taurus. Next 48 to 72, what would you like for Taurus to know at this time? Next 48 to 72 hours. Messages for Taurus. What would you like for Taurus to know? Next 48 to 72. Okay. So I have longing, attraction, and the reverse, and decisions and options. I feel like um, the number three could be significant. You could be seeing 333. Three, three. The number 33 could also be relevant for someone. Um, somebody, I'm hearing could have been born in March. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, as well as Jupiter. I feel like you're no longer interested in someone. You're no longer attracted to this person, Taurus. You're no longer considering um, a particular energy, an option for you, or this could be how someone feels about you. Take it as it resonates. Let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, tell me why is decisions and options here in the reverse? Why is decision and options here in the reverse? And all three of them flipped out in the reverse at the same time. Why is decisions and options here in the reverse for Taurus? Okay, I have the five of swords. Tell me more. I have the ten of wands. So somebody could be frustrated with the option that they did choose. Um, it left someone feeling burdened or it left you feeling burdened. Somebody... Um, is very worried somebody feels defeated for some of you this person feels defeated with the options that they have i'm hearing have left give me an energy for the five of swords why is the five of swords here for taurus i have the queen of swords in the world so i feel like you chose to cut this person off and go into a new cycle because you weren't going to be an option for this energy and it's like when you left the only thing they had was the Ten of Wands. They just had a lot of burdens. Um, you pretty much left them in a struggle. In a hard place. Particularly when it comes to their love life. Because it's like once you pull back your energy and this person actually looked at what they had left, they realized they really didn't have nothing much. They didn't have anyone that... they would desire to settle down with someone that matched their energy. The person that they had to match their energy walked away towards you walked away. So this person was left with options that really did not enthuse them. They weren't happy with the choices they had Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you chose not to move forward. Um, for some of you, this was somebody that caused you like a lot of frustration. There could have been a lot of arguments. It was just like a dark cloud over this connection. And it's because this person was trying to make you an option. Yeah, somebody's very immature. Um, this is somebody who's very self-centered. They lack any type of empathy. And then I'm hearing um, Destiny's Child cater to you. Somebody's name could be D. I'm hearing um, DeAndre, I'm hearing Dylan. 
Yeah, but I feel like this person um just really was I'm getting narcissistic energy off of this page of cups in the reverse. This person only cared about their own needs. Give me an energy for the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Somebody was very insincere. The King of Wands. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Taurus? What's the message? The Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. So I feel like this person wasn't really able to move forward. Not how he desired. Because I'm telling you, whatever this person was left with, he wasn't satisfied with it. If anything, it just brought more burdens to his life. You're definitely not in communication with this person. It's like for some of you, this person um, wants to take action to reach out to you, but they're blocked. Give me an energy for attraction. Why is attraction here in the reverse for Taurus? What is the message? Why is attraction here in the reverse? The four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody no longer wants to be in a commitment. Or you no longer consider this person relationship material. Tell me more about attraction in the reverse. Why is attraction in the reverse here for Taurus? What is the message? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like whatever you tried to build or whatever this masculine energy for some of you. I'm hearing karmic. This person could have tried to build with a third party. It wasn't stable at all. Like it wasn't um, wish fulfillment. It wasn't a partnership that was going to add to this person's life. There really wasn't any growth. Give me an energy for the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here for Taurus? What is the energy? Strength in the reverse and the six of wands in the reverse. This is somebody who cares too much about what people think. Somebody operates out of their ego. For some of you, it doesn't matter how miserable this person is in a situation. This masculine will stay in something just because of other people's opinion, what it looked like. This is somebody who will show up, you know, for social media, but in real life, their marriage, their life is falling apart. It's not healthy. Somebody could definitely have Leo highly aspected here. Give me an energy for strength. Why is strength here for Taurus? What is the energy? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody didn't um, see any success when it came to a four of wands partnership because of how they treated you. I feel like you were this person's ten. You were going to be very abundant together, but it's like somebody's pride, their ego, options. It just ruined everything. Give me an energy for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Oh, wow. I have the Two of Swords in the reverse and the Four of Cups. So somebody pretty much made a choice to reject you, Taurus. Somebody didn't want to work with you. They didn't want to partner with you, but you were offering them the Four of Wands. They missed out on the Four of Wands because they rejected you. For some of you with this attraction in the reverse, this person um, could have felt like you weren't their type. And for some of you, I'm not getting that this has to do with looks. Um, I feel like it has something to do with personality, how you came off, how you presented. But yes, yeah, somebody chose not to offer you their cup. They chose to pull away from you instead. Give me an energy for the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Four of Pentacles here for Taurus? What is the message spirit? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? All right, Justice and the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody made a judgment call not to build with you, partner with you, not to work on things. For some of you, this was a marriage. Somebody chose not to work on things with you. With this King of Wands here, this person wanted to be single instead so they could do whatever they please. Give me an energy for longing. No, give me something for this Taurus Swords. Why is the Taurus Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? The Page of Pentacles and the Emperor. 
I feel like this person made a choice to rebuild with somebody else to start over with someone else because I'm picking up past energy from this page of pentacles. For some of you, this person um, chose somebody who was younger. But whoever this page energy is really didn't have much to offer. It's giving me like somebody wanting to raise you or raise this other person like... Fit yourself where you go, but whoever this Page of Pentacles energy is, this masculine wanted to be able to dominate in this connection. So that's why he could have chosen somebody who really didn't have much to give because that would allow him to have the control he desired. And with you, he knew that that, that wasn't going to be possible. The Emperor Aries energy. For some of you, this could be somebody that you have a child with. Yeah, but somebody chose to go off and have a new beginning somewhere else. Give me an energy for longing. Why is longing in the reverse here for Taurus? What is the message? The high priestess in the reverse and the magician in the reverse. I feel like you're not thinking about this person, Taurus. Like you don't desire to be with this masculine. You're not desiring to hear from this person at all. Pisces and Virgo and Gemini energy. Tell me more about the High Priestess in the reverse. Why is the High Priestess in the reverse here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is the High Priestess in the reverse here? What's the energy? The moon in the reverse. Tell me more. Somebody wasn't listening to their intuition. So listen, this is what I'm getting. This person never thought that they were going to miss you. This person never thought that they were going to desire you. This masculine felt like, okay, you were out of the picture. They were going to move on and connect with somebody else. But the opposite is true. I feel like for some of you, this person is longing for you. But I feel like with it being in the reverse, somebody's pretending. I'm hearing macho man. Somebody want to be with their chest out. They operate a lot out of their ego anyway. So they don't want to see people... Um, they don't want people to see them sweat. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the High Priestess here for Taurus? What is the message? Nine of Cups. I feel like somebody's pregnant. Yeah, I feel like um, whoever this third party is is currently pregnant. Somebody's expecting a child, but I feel like this is something that this third party wanted. Somebody just wanted an attachment to this emperor energy, wanted to be able to hold on to this person or at least say, hey, you know, I have a kid with this masculine. I have a kid with this emperor. Give me an energy for the nine of cups. Why is the nine of cups here for Taurus? What is the message? The four swords, yeah. For some of you, this is somebody who wanted an easy life. They didn't want to have to do much. Five of ones, and they fought for it. So for some of you, this is a situation where whoever this third party is fought long and hard to get you out of the picture. And I feel like she wanted to make it so that this masculine or feminine won't even miss you, won't even think about you. For some of you, this person felt like by getting pregnant, having a child with this emperor energy, this masculine um, was going to forget about you. Somebody intuitively know that this masculine desired you and felt like a child would make the masculine latch onto her more and stop having feelings for you. Stop desiring you. Give me an energy for the magician. Why is the magician here? For some of you too, um, this person plays in dark spiritual manipulation. Why is the magician here for Taurus? What's the message? Why is the magician here for Taurus? What's the energy? Oh, wow. The hermit in the reverse. Virgo. Give me one more. Heavy Virgo and the three of swords. Um, I'm hearing public, I'm hearing open, and I'm hearing embarrassed. Give me an energy for the hermit. Why is the hermit here? 
for Taurus. What is the energy? Why is the Hermit here for Taurus? The Hangman and the Six of Swords. So for some of you, I feel like whoever this third party is, is being embarrassed or is about to be. Because somebody's making a decision, like whoever this masculine energy is, has become enlightened when it comes to his choices and who he's actually partnered up with. And somebody's going to be deciding to move on. Somebody's going to be speaking their truth, which is going to leave this third party in the three of swords. So this person is going to be embarrassed. For some of you too, I feel like this third party was bragging. Give me an energy for the three of swords. I was going to say three of cups. So yeah, this is definitely a third party situation. Why is the three of swords here for Taurus? Why is the three of swords here for Taurus spirit? What is the energy? The ace of pentacles. I feel like Taurus, you're representing this ace of pentacles. I feel like whoever this third party is wanted you in the three of swords. Somebody wanted you heartbroken and wanted you stuck there. Yeah, for some of you, this person could have definitely been using some spiritual practices. For some of you too, this person could have been using some type of energy work to affect your finances. Yeah, somebody wanted you to suffer financially. Like somebody just wanted you to suffer, period, when it came to your life. And this person did not regret it at all. Give me an energy for the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here for Taurus? The Knight of Cups. So for some of you, I feel like where the third party thought that she was going to get a commitment. And for some, a child is in the picture. So she felt like a child was going to hold on to this masculine. No, I feel like this person is upset because she did so much to attain this masculine and still didn't get the offer. Still didn't get the commitment, the relationship she truly wanted. Or he, take it as it resonates. But let's pull the final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Taurus. What is the energy? Give me a final message for Taurus. What is the energy, Spirit? Final message for Taurus. What would you like for them to know? For the next 48 to 72, the hangman. I'm hearing like stop and think. Like somebody's going to have a major epiphany over the next 48 to 72 hours about the path they chose, about who they chose to connect with and who they left out in the cold. Yeah, somebody's going to have an epiphany about their own decisions. Somebody could have also been listening to lies, rumors that could have swayed this person. But yeah, somebody's about to get it here. Somebody's about to see the bigger picture, become enlightened to who... They truly have in their energy, looking beneath the veil. Give me one more. For Taurus, what is the message? The nine of wands, somebody's a hater. So for some of you, I feel like this is you representing the hangman. You could have Pisces highly aspected. Um, I know that it's Virgo's North Node. But I feel like this person has just been hating on you. Whoever this third party is, you've been... Minding your own business, not doing anything to this person, but someone just wants to hate on you. Somebody just wants to be spiteful, revenge seeking. For some of you, this person is blaming you um, for this relationship not really working out between her and this emperor. Yeah, somebody really thinks you and this person has something going on here. But yeah, I feel like you just be minding your business and... Somebody just be sending attacks your way, whether it's in the 3D or in the spiritual realm. Somebody's just hating on you. That's it. Somebody wants to be your hater. So, Taurus, this is your reading. I feel like this person um, is still going to be your hater. Somebody still don't like you. Um, I'm just getting an I don't care energy from you. Like you're just sitting there hanging on this tree, not bothering anybody, not worried about what anybody else has going on. But this person is worried about you and they're going to continue to worry about you. Somebody's going to continue to assume their rightful position as a hater. Somebody just don't like you. And that's all to it. Or like I said, Taurus, this could be your energy. But stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.